Welcome back to the Energy Conversion Lectures. In this lecture, we will give more details about the rotational single excited systems. Assume we have the following single excited rotational system and let's see if this system or machine able to develop torque or movement. As you can see, this system or machine consists of fixed cylindrical core called stator. Also, this machine has single excitation coil going through two slots through the stator and it is called stator coil. In this example, the stator coil has two turns. The rotating part is called rotor and it can rotate around this center axis. The shape of the rotor is cylindrical and that is why we call it cylindrical rotor. Both stator and rotor are made from magnetic materials. The air gap between the stator and rotor is to allow for the rotation of the rotor. Note that the air gap in real machines must be very small to increase the magnetic field density of the machine. So the large air gap in this figure is just for explanation purpose only. Let's assume that this system or machine is linear magnetic system. That means the stator coil inductance will depend on the geometry only. Now let's simplify this drawing by taking this cross-sectional section of the machine as shown. Assume that the excitation current of the stator coil is as shown. So the current is going out of the upper stator slot and the current is going in the lower stator slot. The cross sign represents the current in while the dot sign represents the current out. Let's remove these wires just to make the drawing clear. By applying the right hand rule to the excitation current, the stator magnetic field paths will be as shown. Based on these magnetic field path direction, the resultant stator magnetic field path and axis will be in this direction. Let's assume that the rotor axis is as shown and the rotor is separated from the stator axis by the angle theta. We mentioned in a previous lecture that the inductance of the linear magnetic system depends on the geometry only. Also, we mentioned that the machine able to develop torque only if there are some inductance changes with the rotor position. Let's investigate these two points. If we look carefully at this machine configuration, we can easily notice that the geometry of this machine does not change if we rotate the rotor. That means these stator magnetic field paths will always see in their path same physical magnetic materials and air gaps lengths if we rotate the rotor. Basically, if we ignore the impact of magnetic material by assuming the magnetic material permeability equal to infinity, the stator magnetic field paths will see same air gap length at any rotor position as shown. Now since the air gap length or the geometry of this machine does not change with rotor position, the reluctance to the magnetic material path does not change, therefore the stator self-inductance seen by the stator magnetic field path donated by LS does not change with rotor position as well. In other words, this stator self-inductance LS is constant value with respect to rotor position as shown. That means the rate change of inductance with respect to rotor position DL of theta over D theta will equal to zero. Therefore, the torque will equal to zero. So we do not expect any generated torque or movement in case of single excited cylindrical rotor system. It is worth to mention here that the stator self inductance LS seen by the stator magnetic field path is equal to psi S over IS. This inductance expression shows that at certain excitation current IS, the level of stator magnetic field linkage psi S will stay same or constant at any rotor position because the inductance is constant. As mentioned in previous lectures, 
The stator self-inductance LS is equal to the sum of magnetizing inductance and the leakage inductance. At this point, we are still ignoring the leakage inductance and focusing only on the magnetizing inductance. The magnetizing inductance results from the magnetic fields that are crossing between the stator and rotor. Note that the leakage inductance represents the inductance of the leakage magnetic field that does not cross between the stator and rotor as shown. Now let's change the cylindrical rotor of this single excited rotational system with this rotor configuration. This rotor type or shape is called salient pole rotor. With this rotor configuration, we can notice that the geometry of the system changes with different rotor position. That means the air gap length seen by the stator magnetic field is different at different rotor angle or position. Let's explain this in more details. Let's assume that the salient rotor is located at the following two positions. The first position is the vertical rotor position. The second position is the horizontal rotor position. As you can see, the magnetic field path will flow through different geometry or different air gaps in the two cases. In other words, the air gap seen by the magnetic field path is different at different rotor position. The vertical rotor position has large air gap length and the horizontal rotor position has small air gap length. Therefore, these two cases will have two different reluctances and therefore two different inductances. Now since the stator self-inductance is changes or not constant at different rotor position, the rate change of inductance with respect to rotor position dL of theta over d theta will have non-zero value when we excite the stator. Therefore, the torque is non-zero value in case of single excited salient rotor configuration. So we do expect some movement with such configuration. The inductance of this machine at these two positions can be expressed as shown. These expressions show that at certain excitation current IS, the magnetic field level in case of the horizontal rotor position will be high because the inductance is large. The thick pink color magnetic field indicate the high magnetic field, while the magnetic field level in case of the vertical position will be low because the inductance is small. The thin pink color magnetic field indicate the low magnetic field. Note that the magnetic field distribution has been represented by only one line for simplification and demonstration only. The actual magnetic field distribution will be discussed in future lectures. Now if we assume that the rotor is located at this position, then the rotor will move to the horizontal position when the stator is excited because the rotor will try to align itself with the maximum inductance position. Note that the rotor will stay at the horizontal position during the excitation and we do not expect continuous rotation when the system has only one excitation coil. If we measure the stator self-inductance of the stator coil at different rotor position theta, then the stator self-inductance will change with respect to rotor position as shown. Before ending this lecture, let's always keep in our mind that the inductance variation with rotor position probably considered one of the important concepts in developing the torque in electrical machine. Let's conclude this lecture at this point and we'll continue in the next lecture. Let me know if you have any question. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss any lecture. Thanks for listening. I am Ihsan al-Nabi and it was a pleasure sharing this lecture with you. Thank you.